Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at Elementary OS. It is an operating system that has many features, such as a multitasking view that gives you a quick view of all running applications, a workplace switcher, a terminal that warns you if you copy and paste commands from the internet, an integrated firewall, a startup application management system, and many other under the hood security and stability updates. So, let's take a look. So here is the first part of the installer, um, and on the first glance it looks a bit like the Ubuntu installer, um, and I think this is actually based off Ubuntu, so that's rather surprising really. So let's go ahead and install it. Uh, why not? Uh, oh, so that usually helps. And erase this and install elementary. Right, so I'm about there. This is all very sort of Ubuntu esque, this entire setup process, really. Okay, so my name. So let's uh, put in a very secure password. And let's go and lock on it automatically. So now it's just going to copy the files. I reckon I'm going to speed this next part up because this is probably going to take forever and I've already obviously mentioned all the features. I must say, I do like the uh, background they've got on this, that nice... Wait, I think it's... Um, I can't remember the name of the tree. I know it's an evergreen tree, but... Yeah. Anyway, um, just going to quickly pause the video and speed it up. Okay, so now the installation is complete, let's just go ahead and restart. Hmm. Right, so uh, it's automatically actually ejected the ISO file um, from the VM, so let's just go ahead and press enter. Sorry if my computer's fan is getting on your nerves, it's getting on my nerves a bit as well. Here we go, so um, now it is completely installed and we're at the desktop. So, um, on first glance it looks really quite nice and it sort of reminds me of Mac OS in a way because it's got this sort of uh, task panel down here and yeah that's that funny little menu that they were talking about on um the internet yeah that looks nice um and also these bits up here are apparently redesigned so um these whole i don't know if you call them widgets or uh whatever you want to call them really um well apparently these have had a redesign anyway so they look rather nice, I like the redesign. <laughs> and yeah, we can also, shall we also have a look around, for example, settings. Um, here we go, so this is rather interesting, it sort of reminds me of a sort of mashup of Mac OS and Ubuntu, because it's got that sort of Mac OS grey aesthetic with the Ubuntu layout. So that's rather interesting really. And that's it's, uh, I'm not sure if, I can't pronounce its name, Epic How Epic no, I can't pronounce it, um, the web browser's got a weird name, but, yeah, I'm not sure if this is a custom web browser specifically designed for, um, obviously, elementary OS, but I knew, I, I know they were, like, uh, 
think they were using the Midori browser before. And if I remember correctly from the web browser extravaganza, that one was also quite sort of simplistic in its layout. So yeah, rather interesting really. Um, and like I say again, that has got quite a sort of, well, that almost looks like Safari in the way that uh, this one's laid out because it is extremely simple um, and it's got that great aesthetic once again. So and that looks rather good. Uh, and there's that multitasking view I was talking about earlier. If I open a few applications actually, let's open Mail, Calendar and ooh, App Center, why not? And if I and if I space these out a bit, then we should, if I go down here and go to multitasking, there we are, we can see all the applications that are open and we can exit one of them up there. I'm not sure where, oh, the mail one is behind here. I guess they didn't include that one because that is just a dialogue. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, that all looks rather good. So, um, let's go and have a look at some of its inbuilt applications. And I don't have an internet connection on this, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure why it doesn't work on this VM, but uh, I've tried, well, I've had a few other attempts at making this video, uh, one of which was a complete flop. So this one, um, well, this one also doesn't have an internet connection for some reason. So um, anyway, so, well, that's the photos one. You can import photos uh, from a folder or external device. Um, yeah, and you can change library folders. And like I say, we can have a look at the layout of the App Center, but we can't actually install any apps through it, uh, as I already said, because we don't have an internet connection. But as you can see, it's got, uh, once again, a very sort of nice layout, and I believe they originally used the Ubuntu, uh, I don't know if Ubuntu called it an App Center, I haven't used Ubuntu for a few years now. But, um, yeah, I mean, that also, it's just such a sort of modern layout, because it's minimalistic, and yeah, it's completely functional. So that looks rather nice. And why not? Let's have a look at calendar as well. Sort of reminds me once again of the Mac OS calendar. Um, but yeah, with the sort of Ubuntu layout. <laughs> so my overall thoughts on this, I mean, it, I really do like how they've got this uh, taskbar down the bottom here and that does disappear when uh, obviously you load up apps and um, then it reappears when you move your cursor down the bottom of the screen so that's rather good uh, so my overall thoughts it's sort of like a well it is sort of like a mashup of mac os and ubuntu really but it's added its own sort of original element into it as well so i like that um, and it has got quite a few applications pre-installed, so that's rather nice. So, yeah, and that also looks quite Ubuntu-esque. So anyway, um, I believe that just about runs out for today's video. And I don't believe that's in Ubuntu, actually. Just, no, that's a sort of like a Vista-esque, um, well, Windows Vista-esque, what you call it, bar down the bottom there. Shows you how much free space there is. That's rather nice. Anyway, so that basically rounds it up for today's video. My overall thoughts is it's, it is sort of like a mashup of uh, Mac OS and Ubuntu with its own element. Um, so I really like it and I see it being a perfectly good day to day operating system. So yeah, it's a shame we don't have an internet connection though to look at the app center. But perhaps I will do a separate video on that at some point anyway. Um, so that basically rounds up for today's video, and I believe it's got quite a nice shutdown dialogue as well. Um, yeah, so thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye.